Good morning, everybody. How you doing today? My name's Andrew. I'm Matt. I'm Daniel. I'm Grandpa. I'm Kelly. And we're some of the Veggie Boys. Yeah, go. And we'd like to thank you for stopping by. If you're new here, please consider subscribing because we can grow a lot of stuff on the farm. But one thing we can't grow is this channel without your help. Go ahead. We gotta find where everybody is. Come on, let's go. I gotta step on me. Go ahead. All right, out of the water, let's go. Welcome back everyone, it's so nice to see you. Callie and I have just got to the farm. We're heading down around back. I'm coming. I'm coming. What are we up to this morning, boys? Big things. Really, really big things. As you can see, the boys have got a tank outside that we are gonna be filling with water. That will allow us to keep water pressure up while we're down here watering between the three greenhouses. Oh, cows? Yeah, there's lots of cows. It can be kind of difficult to water everything down around back because as you guys could imagine, splitting up the water pressure between three greenhouses, it isn't the best. So having this reservoir tank here will help ail that problem. The line should shut off. This pump should shut off. What we have to do yet is we have to put a check valve in here to make this work because we're getting a back feed on pressure and it's running it back into the tank. So we put a check valve in there so it doesn't run it back in the tank, we'll be good. Something else I wanna show you guys right away this morning is we've picked up four of these large blocks. Now these blocks weigh about 1,500 pounds and we're gonna be using them as a foundation along this lower side of the greenhouse. The reason why we're doing this is because we need more room and if we can get this wall built up, and we can put a roof over this, we think this would be a great spot to put some calves. Callie and I were just in greenhouse number five and there is a load of calves in there, but we're gonna need the greenhouse relatively soon, so the calves gotta get moved out. This is why we're working on this little section here. So yesterday the boys were able to grab four of those large cinder blocks and they've got them put into place. They also took a large load of scrap metal out of here. If you saw the last video, you saw we had like a mountain of scrap here. Well, that is relatively gone. There's probably about one more load there and then this whole area will be cleaned up. And the plan eventually is to build this the whole length. So have cinder block wall all the way down. Then maybe we can put an addition onto the greenhouse above and then down below, maybe add some structure so that we can house animals or store anything that we need to. It may be hard to appreciate how much room is actually here. These greenhouses are relatively long and we have basically the whole length of the greenhouse to work with. So we're gonna continue to build it up and we're gonna continue to add the block walls in so that we can make our structure. For now, it's looking really good. Cleaned up like this, it looks really nice. So the first job we've gotta to do today is check on the germination greenhouse. So Callie and I are making our way up there. Just wanna make sure that everything we seeded is looking good and also, we want to make sure that nothing is drying out. These are tomatoes. They have San Marzano, Early Girl, Primo Red. Do you see them sprouted up? We just planted these from seeds. What do you think? Yeah, that's pretty cool, right? And when we come over here, look at the peppers. Let's see here. Oh, look at that, our Cuban L. We have seeds just poking out with some growth. Here, this one's got a little more size to it. That's cool. Probably by the end of the day, a lot more of these seeds will be poking out. Here at the bell peppers, there's a little green poking out. Back here, I see more seeds getting pushed out. That's good, nothing seems to be dry, so I think we're all gonna be pretty happy with that. Now that we know everything with the greenhouse is doing okay, Callie wants to go in the farm market, so she's gonna hang out with Aunt Tracy, and I'm gonna make my way down around back to take care of animals.
just got finished with feeding all the animals. While I was feeding grain for the cattle, Daniel ran and grabbed the chicken eggs. So animals are all done. Our next job involves moving a few of these calves out of greenhouse number five. They're actually going out to pasture, so this is pretty exciting. We've just got to pick which calves we want to go out. There's some larger ones in here that we think are the best options to move. So that's the plan. That's fine. That's good. Leave the rest. That way. <laughs> just ran over Daniel. There's always one calf that makes you wonder what's going on in those little cow heads. Don't run over each other. Come on. We just opened up a bunch of room here in greenhouse number five. We have one, two, three, four, five more calves all the way here in the back. In due time, these calves will be moved into that pen for a brief moment, but once we get our structure outside done, then all the calves can be outside. Now that we're all finished with animals for the morning, I'm gonna work my way into the greenhouse, see if the girls need anything. And if the girls are all good, then I'm gonna go up to the germination greenhouse with dad because he was mentioning that there was some trouble with the heater and we need to work on that. Do you need anything, girls? Or are we good? Okay. You're okay? Excellent. We've had a lot going on. It's been a few days since I've been in the greenhouse. Every single time I come in here, I'm just amazed at how fast stuff grows. I mean, look at those tomato baskets. Wow. I'm so happy to see this stuff growing the way it is, but it needs to keep growing because at the beginning of May to the middle of May is when we're gonna move a bulk of these flowers out of here. So they need to get to nice size so that we can sell them. Hey lady, hey lady, we're not open today. What are you doing down here shopping? I need food at the oh, house. Oh, how's the knee feeling? Um, better, it's getting there. You got a lot of comments from people. Oh, do I? Yep, yep, they're saying they hope you feel better uh -huh. and they hope everything's good, but how are you feeling? I feel good. My knee's still a little stiff, but wow. I, I feel pretty good. Sounds good. I'm ready good. to go to work. Sounds good. I'm bored to tears. <laughs> She's tired of sitting. She doesn't like sitting for long and she's had to do a lot of it lately. Those are the new new soybeans coming from Pioneer, the Z beans. They're supposed to be the top yielding beans. So we're gonna have them in the test plot, and compare them with the other beans and see how they do. We get to try them. We're all excited about it. This showed up this morning. They got it all unloaded. We got four full pallets and then one half pallet. And then we got two, four, five pro boxes. So these are filled with bushels and bushels of beans. And then we've got all the bags here. Did you figure out what was wrong with the heater? A sensor not working. I don't know if it's a vacuum problem. I'm still taking it apart. I want to get a screwdriver on my driver. I got to take the top off and see if there isn't a little spider nest or something in there that's messing with making, it, making the vacuum not work. Well, that is good to know. I'll be right up there with you. I was curious. I wanted to make sure. We're going to have to deliver a bulk of these beans. These bags we all deliver by hand. Thankfully, we can move the pro boxes with forklifts. It's exciting. Seed is a coming. On my way up to the germination greenhouse, I stopped inside the house just to check on Grammy quick. She needed some help. She asked me to get a bread maker out. She's making raisin bread. I was like, Hoo -hoo, that sounds good. And then I had to make a joke. I said, isn't all bread raisin bread inside the bread machine? But she just laughed at me and said, she's making raisin raisin bread. Whew. I don't know if dad made his way up in here while I was helping Grammy right now. We're sitting just below 80 degrees. So the temperature is really good in here. Heater seems to be fine. Um, so he might have came up here and worked on it a little bit while I was with Grammy. But I realized I didn't show you guys this beautiful basil that we had seeded. Look at that. And then moving right down from the basil, we have some cabbage. See, there's still seeds poking out of the soil there. Cabbage looks good. Then we move down to Savoy cabbage, red cabbage in the back, and then here is some Brussels sprouts. I just figured since I was back in here, I'd show you that, but this greenhouse seems to be fine. I don't know what the cause of the heater was. I'm not sure dad was mentioning that he needed to grab some stuff for the heater, but it seems to be working, I don't know. You ever have that happen where there's something that's not working and then all of a sudden <laughs> it's working now? Yeah, that happens to us. It's a little strange.
I'm helping Daniel a little bit as he brings pallets of seed into our shop. There's still some more stuff that needs to arrive, but it, uh, it's getting pretty full in here. Lots of pallets and some tall stacks that go all the way back. For those of you that do not know, my dad sells Pioneer Seed. So we've got corn, beans, and some other things in here. We also have some corn and beans for a test plot that we raise every single year. That's why we were so excited earlier on. But yeah, there's all these large totes right here. And then as we go into the back, all that stuff. Well, this is all gonna have to be delivered. Some, some farmers will come and pick it up and we'll dump it right into their hoppers. But for the most part, yeah, it's a lot of driving and a lot of lifting. You're good, you're good. You don't wanna poke any of these bags. These things are expensive. We got the shop all packed up nice and tight. All the equipment was put back where it needed to be. And we were able to fit some more stacks of seed in there. So everything's right in its rightful place. And we shouldn't have to worry about too, too much seed coming. So Daniel and I had just got done talking. We were gonna go down around back and load up some more scrap. But I was down there waiting for him for about four or five minutes to bring the truck down. And he was never showing up. I'm like, where'd this kid go? Gonna come back up and there's a reason we got a tractor trailer here. Let's see here. Chicken concentrate. We need this for feeding the chickens. This is gonna be great for the new layers and the layers that we have. We'll just mix this in with our corn and we'll be good to go. I'm not gonna lie, Daniel, I was really confused. I was down around back waiting and you never showed up. I got sidetracked. I see that, but that, that's okay. That's okay, I'll, I'll let you go on that one. Now everything that you see here is not getting tossed, but we do need to move a few things around to get to more of the scrap metal. So we have these large pieces of timber that we're gonna move and some other stuff we gotta move out of the way. Then we should be able to grab everything. We got a few things moved onto the truck. We have some big pieces up in front of the shop. So we've got to grab that stuff first so we don't fill up the truck. It's a little easier to put the heavier stuff on the bottom because it actually slides off the truck that way. Dad got a check valve for the uh, water container here. So we're just getting all that hooked up before we move up top. So we've got our high pressure tank. This is gonna make sure that we can keep that high water pressure at all times. Once our tank is filled up, it should be able to supply all three greenhouses down here. And we might be able to water two greenhouses at once, which is a big deal. We're able to water up over the hill because we have two tanks up there. But down here, it'd be nice to be able to do the same thing. Daniel got right to loading everything up. I can see it in the back of the truck. So we're probably ready to bring it back down around back. Probably ready to bring it back down around back. Yeah, that works. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> that works out great. But in the meantime, it is lunchtime. So we're gonna head in and eat. Alrighty, let's see what we are having. Oh, it looks like we're having chicken patties. Oh, we also got ham here, ham sandwiches and chips and salsa. Very good. that not all of this stuff is just from us. We do have some family friends and family who know we collect some scrap metal and that's how some of this stuff ends up here as well. I mean, most of it is ours, but not all of it.
We've just about got all the metal moved onto the truck. There is some stuff in here that is buried, so we'll have to worry about that later on. But for now, I mean, we've got the truck pretty full. Can't fit too many pieces on there. We've got one more down here, and then we've got something up in front of the old store that we're gonna grab and put on top. There was a time where you could get really good money for scrap metal. Uh, right now, it's not the best. However, we need the room, so we've gotta move it now. That's what we were really waiting for with all this scrap, hopefully for the price to go back up, but it is what it is. An interesting piece of history is, right around here somewhere is where they used to unload all the manure from the old barn that was here. Where the greenhouses are behind me was a dairy barn, and they had a neat little system where they could back the manure spreader up into, and they would get all the manure to dump down onto the spreader. From what I understand for the day, it was pretty nice. Um, so there is a hole around here somewhere that took a lot of dirt to fill, and uh, it was sinking for a little bit. It doesn't seem like it's doing that anymore. But that's one of the biggest reasons why we had so much stuff piled here when it comes to like dirt and material. Uh, all this other stuff just got piled here because we needed a place to put it. Eventually this is all gonna be cleaned up looking really nice. But for now, I'm kind of excited with how it looks over there. And once we get down through the whole way, it's gonna look really good. Our truck is now on its way to the scrap yard with a completely full load. That is one full truck. I mean, I don't think we could have fit much more on there. My next job involves carrying some stuff down around back. We have a few trays here that need to go to a lower greenhouse. And then we got a few trays over here that are gonna need to be moved. Yeah, you see all this water lying down here? Somebody broke something and it wasn't me this time. It was Daniel. Look at this lettuce that we have in here. Isn't that beautiful? Over here we have our parsley and then our peppers. And the peppers are getting really nice size to them. Down here a little bit, these are larger. Look at those. Here, he's selling them in no time. It's just something about walking through a full greenhouse. Feels good. Now I've just gotta get all this stuff carried down around back. I have these stacked, they are offset. So I don't need to worry about crushing any of the plants. Hopefully I don't crush any plants. Everything has now been carried down around back. I believe Aunt Rhonda and Bonnie are done for the day. And there's not too much for me to do now. I'm waiting on Dad to get back. He is held up at the scrapyard. Matthew is at Lowe's picking up some stuff to fix our water tank down there. Um, more than what we needed before because, well, it's broken. So I'm just gonna stay around here and look for something to do. Hopefully I find something. Okay, everyone, I am now home. And when I got home, Lauren, she was working on dinner. We are having spaghetti and meatballs tonight, don't worry. That wine isn't all for this meal. I was holding the babies. They were a little bit fussy while Lauren and Callie were eating. They uh, just got finished with their dinner. So now I am gonna eat. Babies are still doing good. Callie's playing with her farm here. How's your farm doing? It's doing great. It's doing red. Oh, wow. And of course, right when I sat down to eat, one of the babies needed a diaper change and the other one is all fussy. Lily, it's okay, baby. It's okay. We think the babies are just hungry and that's, the only real problem. So what we're gonna do now is Lauren is gonna work on getting the babies fed. I'm gonna help her out and then I am gonna get my dinner. And that means this is where we're gonna call it for the day. Uh, if you have not already, don't forget to subscribe. We're trying to reach 200,000 subscribers and we can use your help. And also don't forget to like the video. It helps us out a ton. I'd like to thank everyone for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye bye